strong corrosive acids are going to be used in this video. Please use a fume hood or do in a well ventilated area. Do not attempt anything you are about to see. Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. My first video ever was about scrapping a computer. Now I'm going to show you the gold inside RAM boards. Now to cut the fingers, I'm going to use a pair of sheet metal shears, or you can use gardening pruners. Be sure to cut the finger completely off. Don't leave any gold on the board. When you're done with the board, just put it to the side. We'll use that in another video. Now I'm gonna cut 106 RAM boards, all different sizes, all different types to see how much gold we can get out of 106. Now that we cut the fingers off the boards, let's see what 106 fingerboards weigh. I have 5.2 ounces. Now I'm going to put the fingers in a container, and now the fun is gonna begin. Now I'm going to use this container a strainer here and a coffee filter to strain out all the acid. The filter is so that the gold doesn't go through and back into the acid.
Once the container is full, I'm just gonna put it into this container. Now I added some distilled water to rinse out a little bit more of the gold and I'm going to use this wash bottle to get any gold that's on the side of this container. Now I'm going to go through each finger to clean them off to make sure there's no gold on these fingers. And you can also put them aside with the ram boards. Now we're going to clean the filter. Be sure to get all the gold off this filter. Now look at that. Now we're going to get the water. We're going to rinse that out. We're going to try to get as much water out as possible before we put it into our beaker. Now we're gonna use 10 milliliters of nitric acid. Please be careful when you're using this chemical. It is a corrosive acid and will burn your skin. Also, don't inhale any of these chemicals. Now we're going to use 10 milliliters of muriatic acid. I put the liquid on a heater to make it go faster. This in turn is gonna cause more fumes, so you need to be careful. Now you see the gold has been dissolved, but there is some material in there that you don't want. Now we're gonna use another beaker with a filter on top to get rid of any residue that was on the ram boards.
now you can see particles of the RAM board that are on the filter that you don't want in your goal. Now I'm gonna add some distilled water and I'm putting it back on the coffee maker to heat this up because now we're gonna add two more chemicals. Now I'm gonna add two to three teaspoons of urea. This is gonna neutralize the acid. Now as you're doing this, after the first teaspoon, let it all dissolve and add just a pinch more to see if it needs it. If it does, add another teaspoon of urea. You have to keep doing this till there's no more bubbles. That way you know you neutralize the acid. Now that the acid has been neutralized, I'm gonna use another chemical called a storm precipitant. This is gonna turn the liquid gold it back into a solid. If there is still nitric acid or muriatic acid in this chemical here, it's gonna turn it back into a liquid. Now you can see it transforming. That brown that you see, that is actually mud or gold. Now once this is done, you're gonna wanna leave it overnight so all the gold can settle to the bottom. Now that your gold has settled to the bottom, you're gonna to wanna to use a container, strainer, coffee filter, and wash bottle to get the gold onto the filter so you can let it dry. Then collect it later so you can smelt it in a furnace. Because I don't have a smelter, what we're going to do is we're going to weigh an empty coffee filter and then weigh the coffee filter with the gold and subtract that. Now by my weight, I have 0.8 grams of gold, which by filming today, I have between $30 and $40 worth of gold. This is from 106 RAM boards. All right, guys, you're probably asking me, Mike, 40 bucks for 106 boards? That looks like a lot of work. But just think about it. I only did 106. If you save up your boards, you can have 500, 2,000, 5,000, and do the same that I did with 106. You're not gonna get rich but you're definitely gonna have an investment. You're gonna put this away, and when the time comes that you see the market is high, and the gold is selling, and it's really high priced, that's when you're gonna sell your stuff. All right, guys, remember, please don't try this at home. If you understand chemicals, not a problem. But if this is the first time you're doing this and you don't know anything about nitric acid, muriatic acid, or any, any of those other chemicals, I don't want you to do this. I want you to study. Look at the chemicals, find out what they are. There's a sheet of each chemical called MSDS. It's a material safety data sheet. It tells you the reaction of chemicals for heat, cold, fire, how to put it out, what happens to your body if you ingest it, inhale it, gets on your skin, things like that. Study those papers before you even try to do anything like this. And if you're under 18 and want to try this stuff, please have some adult supervision. Someone that knows about chemicals, someone that can help you do this, and guaranteed you're going to get a little, a little nice nest egg there. 
All right, guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe. Till then, peace.